This is called a tetration, that is repeated exponentiation. So you have an exponent that is raised to an exponent. So if you're given this to evaluate, to find the square root of this number, there are two ways. It's either you first find the number and then find the square root of the number, or you do some algebra. The problem with the algebra is you really may not know how to use the square root. So before we continue in this video, I want you to try this problem and just have an answer before you click to continue. Okay, now when you've gotten an answer, come back and see what I do. So how many possible ways can we rewrite this? I'm going to put a number of options on the board and I'll tell you which one is correct. So it's possible that I write this as maybe I make this 2 raised to power 2 raised to power 3 raised to power 2. That's an option. Is this correct? It is also possible that I look at it and I say this is going to be... Um, the square root, so this is an option, let's call this option 1, option 2, this could be the square root of 4 raised to power, what is 3 raised to power 2, that's 9, 4 raised to power 9, is this an option? What if it is 4 raised to power 3, 4 raised to power 3 is 64, 64 squared, what if it is, um, let's make it option 3, the square root of 64 squared. Is this an option? Could it also be... Oh, what if it is... Hey, there's another option. What if it is um, 4 raised to power the square root of 3 squared? That would be interesting. <laughs> okay, is that an option? Is it possible that it is the square root of 4 uh, raised to power 3 squared? Uh, this is weird, but I'm going to put this in parentheses like this. Could it be like that? <laughs> okay. Um, which of these do you think is the correct way of evaluating this? Now, just to cut this long, long, long story sh sh short, this is incorrect. This is a huge number because this number, a titration, simply means you start from the top. You start doing all your math from the top. So this is actually 3 raised to power 2, and four, which is 9, and 4 raised to power 9 square root. So this is correct. This is not correct because this will be the same thing as 9, 2 raised to power 9. Whoa, that's a huge number. That's 512. And then this is 2 raised to power 512, which means 2 times, 2 times, so you do it 512 times. No, that's not what this is. Um, for this one, the square root of 64, well, this should give us 64. Okay, so the answer to this expression will be 64 because this will cancel this out and we're going to get 64. This is not correct. Um, the square root of 3 squared will be equal to um, 4 raised to power. If you take the square root, this cancels this. It's going to be 3, which is still 64. So obviously, the answer is not 64. Um, the answer is the square root of 4 raised to power 9, which we're going to solve, and which, oh, looks like this too, because this is going to be equal to 2 raised to power 9, which is the same thing as this. Is the square root of 4 raised to power 9. Remember that this expression could have been written as 4 raised to power 9 raised to power 1 half, which is the same thing as the square root of 4 raised to power 9, which is what we have here, 2 raised to power 9, which is 2 times 2, 9 times, and you're going to get 500. 
5 and 12. So the long and short of whatever we're doing is for a tetration, whenever you have a radical sign or any kind of root, it's attacking the base. So remember, generally, okay, the nth root of I'm going to put a raised to power b raised to power c raised to power d and it keeps going on is basically the nth root of the base a then you can start doing whatever you want to do you can raise this down to power b raised to power c raised to power d and so on i hope you understand this so this is just some of those tricks that you see on videos or you see somewhere always attack the base the root attacks the base Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.